Special Representative of the Secretary General on Migration and Refugees, Mr. Thomas Bocek. Welcome to our media box. Uh, on the occasion of Congress 32nd session, there were several debates and uh, reports on refugee and migrants, uh, which is also highlighted in the motto of this year in Congress. Uh, so we know that Congress has a special focus on the refugee issue. Uh, beside that, you recently published, uh, as a special representative, a thematic report on migrants and refugee children. Uh, and we also know that you put special attention on the question of unaccompanied minors in their problems. So from this perspective, what do, what would you like to say about the situation of migrant children uh, or migrant child or let's say what are the main challenges that they face, these children, uh, during the refugee crisis, let's say? Yeah, as you rightly said, uh, my mandate is, is quite broad. I have I cover uh, migrant re refugees in general, but then I was given by the Secretary General a second mandate, a more specific one, which is for, for children, migrant children, and, and especially unaccompanied minors. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, during my mission, what I have seen and, and what I have experienced, I tried to put it into this thematic report, which was uh, published uh, last week and, and uh, I really tried to identify what are the main challenges as I, as I, as I saw them. So uh, I would mention starting by when they arrive. When they arrive, in fact, th what is the most important is that they are well informed. In, in they, they get the child-friendly information. So this, I, I think this is one of the, of the main challenges really to, to, to succeed, to give them this, this information that they know what their what they, uh, uh, rights are, what the procedure is, uh, is uh, uh, they have to follow and, and, and so on. Then I would say that the, the effective guardianship, mm -hmm. this is also something which is missing in, in, in many European states. The right procedure for the age assessment, when uh, we see that these children are detained, mm -hmm which is, of course, uh, the detention is never in the best interest of, uh, of the child, so uh, we have to, to, to find alternatives to this, alternatives to detention. Then the family reunification is not really working uh, uh, well. A and then uh, what will follow, and one of the probably biggest, uh, biggest challenges in now, already now, but also in the future, will be integration. This is also important and it's related to my second question because uh, the first step is of course the reception question and to welcome uh, unaccompanied minors and all refugees and migrants. But in next step uh, we will discuss the integration. I would like to ask you, I would like to know your understanding and let's say your definition on integration because it has, it's very large, it has a very large meaning and uh, for success, successful integration what you let's say recommend or what's your understanding understanding for that and what should do uh, national policies and local policies for that? Uh, well, what should be done, I think, mm -hmm. when, when you want to integrate these people, these young, uh, young people into society, I think first of all what they need is to, to understand language. Mm -hmm. So I would start by, by uh, teaching, teaching languages of the, of the country when, when they find themselves. And then, of course, the early and effective education. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, I would say, the, one of the most powerful integration uh, uh, tools that, uh, that we have. But also uh, early access to healthcare and also to adequate uh, standard of, of living. And then, of course, socialization. Socialization, it can be through, through sport, mm -hmm. through, through um, other leisure activities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and what the role is of the uh, regional and local uh, authorities in it? I, I think that I mean that is a crucial, crucial one because they are in the first rank. They are really uh, facing these problems uh, on everyday basis. Mm -hmm. So uh, and they can they can uh, they are opinion makers, the, the representative of local and regional authorities. So. They can really form the public opinion on, on many of these uh, questions, which I find very, 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 very important. Uh, they also, in many cases, they set the rules uh, how these people will, will, will be received. 
and uh, how they will be integrated. Uh, so their role is also to, to facilitate relations, facilitate relations with uh, local, with local um, population. And uh, probably one of the principles that, uh, you know, when they are uh, giving them a housing, so, so uh, what should be led, the, the principle, leading principle should be to avoid ghettoization. Really to try to, to mix the migrants with, uh, with the local, mix and interact the, the migrants with the local population. Mm -hmm. So it's important to underline that, as you said, not maybe the integration, but the interaction between the society, in the society. And it's also important maybe now to note that uh, Congress has also adopted a report on the integration of refugees, which is called From Reception to Integration, which also highlights that we should start the integration process from the reception, they're coming to the host society, and which also discussed the role of the local and regional authorities facing migration. Would you like to say a couple of words on the report as well? Well, I read it with uh, great interest and uh, I would like to congratulate the Congress for adopting uh, such a report, which I really think is, is a very, very good tool, the recommendation, resolution, really you have uh, uh, concrete tools how to, how to um, make the situation of, of the refugee and, and migrants bet better, how to improve their, their situation. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Bocek. Thank you.